can inspect this watch for these fine gentlemen here and make sure it is authentic. We went from buying uh, Richard Mill and Paddocks <laughs> to French fries <laughs> and chicken nuggets. He paid 350,000 euros for this fake thing, so let's go check it out. The bling bling master here in downtown. Nobody got them, okay? They're the godfathers here. I'm the godson. <laughs> Look at all this shit he got. And you know what? I, I admire these kids. I know them since they were minors, okay? They were little kids, and look, they work all day, every day. They don't stop working. And they got more money than everybody else here. But they're always freaking working real hard. So, learn. Trigger happy. That's trigger happy right here. He just told me a true story that when he was young, and uh, his first watch that he saw big watch, I bought it from him. Was it someone told you? Where's my stuff? Oh yeah, when I was little, Rose Gold Montoya, one of the first biggest watches that I sold. I was asking like 60 G's, Carlos comes up, says, alright, 59. Okay. <laughs> so he was only making seven thousand dollars for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He felt rich for the minute. So, so what are we doing? This right uh, here. What are we doing? Start here. Rose gold rhodium. Rose gold rhodium. Thirty-six millimeter. Some French fries because the hamburger nobody's buying them. So, <laughs> so a forty-one sub. New reference. All right. New reference forty-one. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Santa Claus. No, no money for shaving, man. How you doing, nephew? Okay. Everything good? Yeah, man. So, so right here. He's just doing some business. Yeah, the new uh, blue motif dial, white gold bezel, 36 millimeter. We went from buying uh, Richard Mill and Paddocks <laughs> to French fries <laughs> and chicken nuggets. <laughs> Bread and butter, baby. Bread and butter, brother. Add something else to the package. Add something else to the package. Home dial. I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. You sure? We don't make no more sales and see what's the last price that we need. You sure? How much is this? 138. Okay. Okay. Just add this one for the camera. What is that? The new one. 155, you said 15. 15. 153. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. I have to like this guy to buy seven watches out for him, so. Give you my right, and then we'll go from there. All right, let's go together. Today is 16. Tomorrow's my birthday. Really? 17. Really? Carlos has been selling watches for 400 years. He's now turning into a dinosaur. <laughs> Should I take it off, or it looks good on me? I like it. 88,000? 88,050. I don't even know I have that much. 88,050. That's what I used to buy one paddock. Now look. Yeah, three times. There you go. Be good. Make sure you watch this. You want a permit? 15.5, new? No, you already made the check. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. You don't clap tomorrow. Please remember deposit by December. December? <laughs> Thanks, Carlos. Always a pleasure. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. It's a wrap. ¿Qué, qué parte de Brasil? São Paulo. São Paulo. Es un poquito para acá. Ahí. Ahí. Es perfecto. ¿Es eso una sol? Yeah. Yeah. I was looking for it. Oh, uh, I worked to the show. That's it. It's done. Say goodbye now. I'm telling you guys, Charlie's such a sapping. <laughs> Ask me for that. <laughs> Ask me for that. You guys definition. don't know what a sapping, sapping. is. Sapping is missing the O because really it reads sapingo. <laughs> yeah, but the, this is sold. So 59.90 is sold. So this is for your accounting sister. Look at these watches.
36. Miss your arm. This one. Miss. Some of the stuff that we didn't have. That I used to have. See, we did a different purchases. We used to go and buy the really high end stuff. I guess they're nice. Thing. Stop getting you want to see 41 millimeters? Yeah. 36. That's nice. Yeah, no. Nah, you got many digits adjusted, right? What you looking for? I live right down the street. I might as well come in before I make my purchase. I want to get educated, make sure I'm making the right purchase. All right. Yeah, man, you guys are doing so well with the social media and marketing, thank man. You, thank you. You're crushing it, brother. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're an online celebrity, man. I'm glad I get a chance to meet you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love it, brother. I love it. I love thank it. Thank you. Sandy, I want to check that watch out yeah. right now. We're purchasing it for. 18.5, okay? okay. So you already this is some of the inventory that I bought today. Mm -hmm. Look at this, it's a color, Wimbledon and two tone. <laughs> two tone, 41 millimeter new style. I just bought some stuff that we didn't have here just so we could have something, but it's, you like that dial? Mm. <laughs> I'm right with you, okay? Just one second. I had never really gotten that. this, maybe? Like, obviously. If it was me, I wouldn't make that change at all. Just because no, 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 no. Not even 12. I think it's, a, it's that would be for a brand new one. The Russell 185, but they had a new ceramic and they fell down the lawn. 185, need some nice. What's up, my man? I'm ready for you. So I think just 41. Is that for you? Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you dress dressy all the time or no nah. sport? Nah, and why are they just? Because they told me that's like an everyday person. No, I said you so I want to see that one. But it's a, it's a, it's a dressy watch. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather get it something sporty, but I'll show you some different options. Hello, Sian. Two tone. This is something similar. You could choose a yellow or a, a rose. Yeah, that's clean look, more dressy look. I like more it's something sporty for you. So is this considered more sporty, the Jubilee no, band dressy. versus that's dressy. Dressy. dressy? And the Oyster dressy. band, is, is that I considered? more sporty, but they just, it's a dressy watch overall. You know overall, I mean? okay. Oh, yeah. Is that similar? This is something like sport, you know, Sumaner. Sumaner. It's Sumaner. Right. Sumaner, you get better stainless, two-tone. So you want to try it. Yeah. Even though it's, yeah, it's actually same size, 41, mm -hmm. but this, Fits bigger, it's a little thicker, you know. Yeah, this is clean. This is clean. So this will also be considered a, a good everyday watch as well, too. Good everyday watch. Yeah. Okay. Definitely, I'd rather have a sub than Versus a day just. Really? Yeah, of course. Okay. You know, I mean, I like the water. Maybe, you know, you want to get in the jacuzzi, that's a dressy watch, it's not for that. Oh, see, mine, you can put it everywhere, man. I like this right here. Uh, what's the millimeters on this one? 41. 41. That's the new 41 sub, and it brings the glide light. Glide lock. But you can pull here, you see it? And then it glides from one side to the other. Mm, oh, okay. See? Okay. See, that's a feature that the other one doesn't have. Yeah. Okay. That's cool, right? Yeah. So you so, can make it smaller, or you can make it bigger. So something like this will go for what? This one will go for around 17.5. 17.5? Same thing with this. Around for 17.5 also. They're both 20, 2022 brand new. 2022. You know, 2022 brand new. They'll go up about around the same. Okay. But if it was my choice, then I'd rather go the same. Appreciate you guys, Whatever you man. need, whenever you're ready, come by the guy here, okay? Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. If you, you want to come and see my opinion, they want to try some watches, I don't have any problem with that. Mostly all the jewelers get mad because some people come window shopping. You know what? It's, it's good to go window shopping without pressure and see it. Like, I, you know, me, I get it kind of like embarrassed and stuff, but why not? Why not go try a product before you buy it, test drive it, and then if you like it, you buy it with no pressure. So that's what it's all about, customer service, product everybody has. There's hundreds of stores around here and everybody's selling the same product. So what makes a difference is the customer service and how you treat people. So thank you, my brother, okay? Uh, from Michigan? Yeah, uh, Cle Cleveland area. I just, I think they're more comfortable than these than ones personally. One? Yeah. But I'm, a, I'm a sub fan. So. Charlie! Oh, it's yeah. freezing up there, bro. We need some sun. <laughs> this is kind of unique. Yeah, so nice. check out that one. Look, conditions, excellent case back sticker. 
super clean. I, I remember these stickers back in the days. Yeah, like, I mean, look at the text is still really good yeah. on that. We usually they wear off. Do you know back in the days when I used to buy a watch, they I used to ask, uh, what's the condition on the sticker on the back? Yeah, and that's more or less how do you yeah. know the, yeah. how a yeah. watch was used. Right. Right. So back in the days, used to come with a sticker right here. So I don't yeah. know if you'll be able to see it. Some people would have protected so the sticker would always look new and then the watch would be all beat up, but that's yeah. so cool. Yeah. yeah, that was one that, like I got some local collectors around the area up in the Midwest there that, just, that got some really nice stuff like in the safe. And then when that comes across, you know, I'll say, hey Barry, look, I got this one. You might be, you might want it. And uh, that being a mother of pearl. 2007, I had the same watch, yeah. but with Tahitian mother Tahitian, of pearl. Tahitian, yeah, it's like more oh, of that And they made that with a ruby, right? And the ruby also, too. Uh, yeah. Which I think is a little more yeah. money, I think, right? Yeah, the yeah a little bit. Yeah. They bring a little more. Got the five so, so this is from, from Rolex? Or this yeah, is yeah, 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 this is a Rolex. Uh, my AD gave it to me. Yeah, cool. And a cookie monster. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's no, that's a Smurf. That's a Smurf. That's a 2017 card Smurf. It's got the case back green. Clear case back sticker still on it. I think that I mean Something bezel meant, feels yeah. untouched to me. That feels sharp. Yeah. It's a nice. I mean, whenever I find good stuff, I call them. I'm like, hey, you should probably pick this one. That's awesome. Man. So yeah. I like yeah, these better than the I have do too. Most of them I'm trying to sell for yeah. for 36 or on the retail. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, mine was sold for me for like. Yeah, we got 50. 40. <laughs> no, we got like 42 for that. Okay. But that was a good while ago. You, you sold yeah. it. For yeah. 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 That was back in the. Yeah. Yeah. I got it for retail, and then was, everything was still high. Yeah. Back in yeah. the days when everybody had money. Yeah, back in the day. Okay, it's, it's my son Charlie. Charlie, nice, nice to meet you. you. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you finally. Yeah. We watched it on TV all the time. 06. 06? Yeah, box of papers. What do I see? It's a Submariner. You know it's my favorite watch. <laughs> oh, this is very clean, very yeah, crispy. It's a nice one. Oh, 06, so this is literally right before they converted to ceramic. Uh, you, you had like a one year of engraved pre hot, like 08, 07, 08. The that. traditional model. Yeah. I like I like this better because of the shape, but Me I too. just like that because of how practical it is and the ceramic to the scratch, the glide lock class. Yeah, yeah, probably this one would be the first one, I think. But there's a different one. Let me see. Yeah, he's this got is the funky too. Yeah, he's got I've the seen these online. Yeah. The green version, I've never seen this blue the version. The blue is hot. I like the blue. I like it. <laughs> long time, long time ago, yeah. right? I always, at the beginning, I, I liked the 5980 on a strap. It was actually my favorite. And I always wondered if it always, they would make it all gold. And they made it all gold and I wasn't too in love with it. Yeah. You know, I like the leather band. I like the, the leather okay. band. But whatever. Then I said, wow, if they make it only with a blue dial. So I bought a two-tone, took out the dial and put it on all rolls. That was kind of like the first one that did that and mm -hmm. put it on the Instagram and mm -hmm. that shit went crazy. Yeah. On the Yacht Master, I'm at 20, yep. I'm at 30, I'm mm -hmm. at 10, and at 33 on that piece. Those okay. numbers are like really like 2,000 under where we could find sure. them in the dealer chats, yeah, you know? Yeah. Well, I, have, I, have, I understand can, the game. Can you, can you write that down for me? So that I yeah, have of course. Sure, right. but that way we course. can talk about but it. Also Can inspect this watch for these fine gentlemen here and make sure it is authentic. So I'm gonna open it up, check it out. Let's see. Alright, okay, Thank you so much. I'm gonna it from here. Bye -bye. Here, here, turn around. Yeah, turn around. Can we see? Turn around. Hold on, because my shirt comes out and my stomach comes out. Let me see. This is my father, by the way. Let me see, let me see. He's wearing his daughter's shirt. Let me see, let me see, let me see. You shop the baby guy. <laughs> With my eyes closed, I would say. Oh shit! That's real. It's real. How you guys doing? This right here is the most most important tool. The jeweler's loop. Where you buy? You buying from him right now? Oh, from yeah, him. Yeah, I would have you over what I said. Shit was fake. <laughs> yeah. He looks like a trustable guy, man. I think so. But you can't trust faces anymore. No. No? Not, <laughs> you can't. Yeah. Try, yeah. Trust me. Yeah, no, I figured out. We, we have it in an everyday case of people walking in here trying to sell us a fake watch. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. And friends of mine, they're, they're giving watch us payments and their watch has been... And, and these watches are a little hard, a little harder to... Uh, to make fake, but there are some other ones like the Daytona that they make yeah, fake that. There's more fake than what? Than, uh, Look at it, make sure everything is good, make sure. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, the fine. glass is not scratched. The bezel looks good. Yeah, like... Um, and just a full inspection the of it. The quality of, like, everything as well. I just figured out coming in from Texas, I'm doing all this travel, all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Might as well pay an extra $150. That's correct. Right. Just send him the information, he will get back to you. All right, sir. Thanks. I would say this watch is in very good condition, actually. Um, this is very, very clean for being pre-owned. Um, there's nothing here that... Just pay him the freaking money, boys. I want you to One, it's like, yeah, you definitely need a service on the watch. This is bad. So, this watch, I would say, is in pre owned condition, 10 out of 10. If it was, in general, say 10 is brand new, I would say it's a 9 out of 10. You're, you're good here. Then with links, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Zero, everything matches. Box is good. And yeah, everything was good with your watch. Awesome, man. Appreciate everything it. Everything is good. I think it's yes, perfect. Perfect there? Yeah. I watched the video good on you, man. With that she has the jacket. Thank you so much. Yeah. Very good. You want me to clean it up for you? Get rid of some uh, fingerprints and stuff. I'm gonna take it into the back and wash it up, all right? Perfect, thanks so much. No problem. Cleaning shop. I think if you shower at least every day, you should wash your watch at least once every two, three days, once a week, something like that. Or you're just wearing it in an office setting. But what we're pretty much doing is taking off all the oils from the skin, the grease, all that. You brush it just like you're brushing into these little circles. Don't be afraid. Take a little aggressive with her too. You see, it's not that dirty. But sometimes you clean the watch and they come out black or... Clean your watches, clean your jewelry. You just take care of your stuff. Take off all the dead skin. I don't know how much he bought it from that gentleman for, since I'm not selling this watch, I was just authenticating it for him. How much did you get it for? Uh, 10.2. Amazing price, too. What's retail? Uh, 10.5 plus tax. 10.5? It's not more than that? Uh, maybe they put it up right now again, because Rolex just put up prices in the beginning of January. So. Well, wait, what was I it? I think this one was 12. I mean, plus tax. Tax is like yeah, eighteen hundred bucks or something. It's, it's, it's like twelve thousand dollars here, basically. Yeah. So hopefully, yeah. Then you can get your gold prezi next. Once huh? you complete that, then you get your all gold one. Oh, for uh, yeah. When I can make, when I'm making that money, <laughs> for sure. Soon, soon, soon very soon. soon. You're on the path. You're on the path. So we just got this uh, one one six six one zero. So mine are forty millimeter. That Sandy had sold already. So this is to fulfill an uh, online order. And then I got these for stock. Some GMT discontinue. Yeah, this is gonna be sold for 12.5. This is for 14.5. It's in stock. And then we have another one for the same amount. Same GMT right here. And then we're gonna pass it to, to the beautiful Betty. Today is my birthday. And guess what I'm doing? Working. That's what you should do on your birthday. Work, work, work. So one day, you don't have to work anymore, and then every day will be your birthday. How about that? This is my beautiful mom. This is the greatest gift you can man could have on his birthday. Having his mom next to him. That's the best gift you can have in the wife and the sister and my daughter <laughs> and my and the guys that I work with. The people that I consider for my family is the people that I see on an everyday basis. We got a cake for Mr. CRM. Justin, happy birthday. Charlie, do you oh, yeah. have a lighter? Yes, he's always ready.
Dale. If it wouldn't be for Charlie, you know, I would not eat no cake. I know he got the cake. Thank you, Charlie. You're welcome. Number one DJ out here in the baby. Happy birthday to the number one in the place to be. It's Don Corleone, King Kong, and Ray the Rabbi, Bakhtir Raggedon. One, two, one, two, and the place to be, I'm out. Get on me, Pooley Go! Smart. Oh. And they did rubber pushers? Rubber, same as the original. The only thing different is a glass back with the new movement. And then they give you two straps. They give you a rubber strap, you hit the button, and then there you go. Wow. You can put the rubber strap on. The only thing you gotta do is you gotta make sure when you put it back on, I always go like this. And you give it a tug pull. Yeah. Just to make sure. <laughs> but how, how great is that? Two watches in one. That's cool, Rashfam always comes in here to either be a creep or show us new watches. Today, he wasn't a creep. Okay, so a client just came in and he had a Richard Mill, he goes, hey, can you change the strap? And my dad brought him to my desk. And the glass and, and the case of the watch looked a little too shiny. And I was like, but I'm not gonna disrespect this guy and say it's a fake watch. And when he gave it to me, I started looking and I was like, wow, it's funny, but I'm still not gonna say it's fake. It just, it looks weird. But then he told me he paid 350,000 euros for this fake thing, so let's go check it out. So this here is a watch you paid 350,000 euros for? 350,000 euros. They fell. What does that convert to? 350,000 euros, two dollars. 380,310 dollars and 77 cents. What, what I noticed off the bat was a shiny glass and the case here. And the weight. I wish I had a real one. So this is a, a really bad fake that somebody left us. This is a really, really bad fake. And then you could see that there's a movement and that that's just like a, a, a cap over it. So there's an automatic movement in the middle. You can see that it's shiny and the glass reflects. If you get, um, if you, you hear these, you, it feels like, the other one goes, like we're gonna, we're gonna like bring attention. Out, we're gonna bring out one here, now. Go like this, you can feel it. Here, let's compare. So this is not a Bubba Watson. You can't get a Bubba Watson here. You don't have nobody. No, 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 Bubba Watson. See? Just hear the sound, it goes click, click. And this just goes Even though this says titanium, you can see here it's not the same. I don't know if this is a cheap titanium or a stainless steel. You can see here when you're opening it. Versus if you get, again, it's not a bubble, but it's a white ceramic or mill. A lot more, you hear that snap? It, the material is good. It's not like this one. That this one is really bad. But that squeaky of the movement. Oh, the I Richard Mills have it. Yeah, I haven't it. got there yet. Wait up. We're comparing the bands. What do you think about but the bands? It, but it's one of the best ones I probably wear. Probably see one here. I have correct. I've, yeah. I would say this is a very, very good copy. Of uh, for, unfortunately, it's a very good copy. And so, they give you papers and all. Do you know who you bought it from? Okay. You say he will reimburse you the money? Awesome. No, 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 no. It's better for you to collect the money than do that. Be smart, try to collect your money, and forget about it. Listen, maybe he got duped too. God knows. So we're going to do a comparison between a real Richard Mill and then two copies. One is a super clone, and one is just a bad Chinese. Uh, Copy. We're gonna compare overall case, glass. Again, this is not the same model, but it's very similar in materials. So you can see here on this one, I'm gonna pick them both up, okay? I'm gonna get the super clone versus the real one. You can see that the ceramic on the super clone and then the finishing of the screws is a little off. The glass is a lot more reflective here. <clears throat> the spacing of the crown, let's flip it this way. Wait, wait, wait. You go leave it back there on camera. The space of the crown, this crown is a lot more tucked in than this one here. Because this one protrudes out a little bit more, there's more gap there. 
the straps, look how thin the loops on the straps are versus how thick they are here. The clasp, you can see this is shining. The machining, the craftsmanship looks a lot better on this one. This has a raspy sound. It's like, it's like graining, raspy sound. Versus if you get this one here, and you rotate the crown, it's very smooth. You almost feel no resistance. It just feels like it's spinning on bearings in there. You can see the finish on the movement. Again, not the same movement, but you can look at the details. Then these screws are black. They're like this dark black color when they're supposed to be this titanium color as well. You can see here, this is just completely off. It's very thick, has a cover on the movement with an automatic movement in the side. The holes on the band are a lot larger. The holes on the fins, the bracelet. Let's look at the clasp comparison. And then last but not least, let's look at the size of the screws. All right. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to use this uh, thermal scientific precious metal analyzer, but it also tells you other metals. And I'm gonna scan the three clasps of the watches to see what metals are in there. Let's start with this very, very, very bad Chinese copy. I'm just gonna do a two second scan or a couple seconds. Here you can see it's nickel, iron, chromium, copper, and I don't know what MN is. Now we're gonna test the super clone. It says titanium here in the clasp, let's see. So we have nickel, iron, uh, chromium, MN again, and titanium. So we do have titanium in this one. Then now let's test the real Richard Mill. And it has a lot more materials and titanium. So I think that's rhodium. I don't know what RU is. That's nickel. And only like 11% iron where the other, the big one was like 70 something percent. Yeah. That different metals? Yeah. yeah. So there we go. So this is why when people ask me what to look for when you're purchasing a fake watch or, or when you're purchasing a watch, how to check that it's not fake. It's not one thing you can look for. As you see from here to here, there's a big difference. From here to here, there's a big difference, and it's very easy to spot that this is fake. You don't need any knowledge in watches or even in Richard Mill to see that this is a fake watch. But something like this, these super clones, they get better and better. And if you're not very educated in Richard Mill or in how to spot watches, period, because it goes across all the brands, it's just craftsmanship, you can get screwed over really quickly. And as you see, unfortunately, um, this fellow client and, and dealer lost around 380,000 US dollars on this purchase and hopefully we're going to work to get his money back but it it sucks because he paid the price for a real one so this is where if you have any doubts go ask people who know and I'll be happy to help you anytime